Hey guys, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe so you can get notified when I upload new videos. Um, today I have a drugstore first impressions. It is all products that I've never tried before. Definitely some hits and misses. So if you want to know what products I did like and what products I didn't like, please keep on watching. So we're going to start by pinning back my heart. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm talking like super, super low. Everybody's asleep. It is 9.06. Okay, so I'm going to start with the color tattoo metal in um barely branded this is by maybelline new york so i'm gonna be using this as a eyeshadow primer so i set it with the rimmel london stay matte um long lasting pressed powder we're going to go in with the Maybelline New York The Blushed Nudes Palette. And we're going to take this color right here to use it as a transition shade. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's because the color is really light. But it's so not pigmented like at all. So I used so I used these two colors right here. This one and this one. See if that looks a little better. like any better so so far like seriously there's no product showing up like nothing I don't know if you guys can see that let me zoom you guys in a little like I don't know if you guys can see that but there's nothing showing up okay so there's a loop showing up now okay so so far I am not liking this palette I feel like it's very hard to work with and it's not pigmented at all I had to pack my brush like three times and this is the payoff no 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 I'm going to take this dark gray color right here and I'm gonna put that in my outer and inner okay so this one was a little bit more pigmented I don't know if it's because it's a darker color, which is most likely the case. So I'm focusing it on the outer V of my eye and then with the rest of the product I'm just kind of bringing it in a little. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so once that's done, I'm just gonna do the same thing to that other eye, of course. I feel like it's really hard to blend these colors out. Which, which sucks because I was really excited about this palette. And people brave about it so much that I kind of had like high expectations for it. I'm going to take this gray color right here and see how that works. If not, I'm going to go down to the other group. create that kind of halo eye So for this palette, I give it a 7 out of 10. Just because the colors are very inconsistent. Um, some are very pigmented, some other, some aren't. So that's the reason why I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. Now we're going to go on to the brows. And I'm going to be using the NYX Eyebrow Gel. And this is in Blonde. I'm a little scared about this one. So I'm just going to use a spoolie to brush my hair out. I don't know if I got it too light, but I think that's the case because it's barely showing up. Okay, I might have to go with my pomade, my Milani um, pomade. Mm. It's a very messy product. Very, very messy. And it's also very hard to do it on camera. So I'm sorry about that. If I keep looking down again. It's a very messy product to work with, so I do not recommend so, it. Moving on, for primer, I'm going to use the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Looks like this. Pretty sure you guys have heard about this. I'm not crazy about the smell, to be honest with you. And it's very runny, it's very watery, so I'm not sure how it's going to work as a primer. But I hope it doesn't break me out more than I'm ready. Let me zoom you guys out. Yeah, I don't know if I can deal with this though. So I'm going to use two primers. I'm going to use that one. And then I'm going to be using the Maybelline New York Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And I'm going to use this like on my T-zone. And this one they say that it's a dupe for the Benefit Professional. 
Um, haven't tried that one out either, so. Don't really know if it's a dupe, but I'll let you guys know if it's a good primer. And this is definitely the thing that I'm most excited about. It is the L'Oreal Paris 24 hour foundation. Um, it, the Infallible Pro Glow, and I got it in a natural beige. Oh, it's very runny. Um, and it says it's a medium, medium coverage. I like full coverage. I like to people to know that I am wearing makeup, girl. Isn't that the whole point of makeup? Okay, so I'm going to just... Dot it on my face, kind of blend it so far. So good. Mm. Don't forget that night, girl. Okay, I think I'm going to need a little more. If you're somebody that likes full coverage foundation like I do, I don't know because this is the second time I applied to the back of my hand. And with my Milani foundation, I just need like one little squirt and I am good to go. But this one, I had two. It those veces. And then I'm taking a damp beauty blender and tapping it in. So I'm going to go in with the NYX um, color correcting concealer and I'm going to take the green color put it in a little uh, mini beauty blender and pat this where i have any red spots i'm gonna do it on top of the foundation because i forgot to do it under and it's usually around around these areas so i'm just gonna put it on top what i have on my beauty blender i'm gonna try to blend that in sure if it's gonna work out because I don't have any more product okay. so. with the salmony color I'm gonna use that under my eyes yeah so off of the wet and wild contouring palette in Caramel Toffee. I'm gonna take the highlight shade, which is this yellow one right here. As you guys can tell, it is not um like shiny at all for me to use it as an actual highlighting color. So I'm just gonna use it to set my under eye concealer. Kind of brighten it out a little. Okay. So if you're looking for a highlight, I wouldn't recommend um, to get this specific one for like your actual highlight. But I really like it for your under eye concealer. I think it brightens out your eyes a lot. So that I do recommend it for. I've pushed what was left over on my nose. Um, with the same palette, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the contouring shade and contour with it. Duh, breaking out a lot. And I usually don't. So 
so then I'm gonna go up to my temples and I, I like creating like a three with my contour so I go like one two and I know it's a little harsh I think the shade is a little too um, brown. I like to stick to like the more grayish colors. So taking a big fluffy brush, I'm just gonna try and blend all the harsh lines. Kind of blend everything together. And then for blush, I'm going to be using the NYX Ombre Blush, and this is in color Mauve Me. I'm liking it. Okay, and since I didn't really get a highlight, um, because I thought this one was going to work, but it obviously didn't. So I'm going to use um, my NYX highlight and contour palette and it's basically not cheating because I've never used the highlight in here. Just highlighting the cheeks. Wow, I really like this highlight. And I've never used it before because I'm so stuck on my Becca. that I don't I haven't tried this one and then again taking the fluffy brush I'm just gonna try and blend everything connect it and then connect it I'm gonna take a, a different brush and I'm gonna put the silver color that we have in the middle so I didn't get any mascaras from the drugstore that I haven't tried don't know why I kind of forgot about it but um, I'm gonna be using the covergirl lash blast volume which is the orange one this is my holy grail mascara i love it so much and i'm gonna put some falsies on and i'll be right back so i used the nyx um lip cream in Kenis, and i am not crazy about the color i really like the formula though it feels like nothing's going on like it feels like air on your lips but not liking the color. Let's start with the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. I am not crazy about this just because of the smell and I also don't feel like it made any difference with how the foundation went on. I'll keep trying it and I'll leave it down in the description box to let you guys know how I feel about it. The baby, the baby skin from Maybelline, I really liked it. I feel like it did erase my pores it like as soon as they put it on it kind of vanished like the look of um my huge pores the foundation i really like the foundation i don't feel like it's super glowy um it's it is medium coverage medium to full i would say the nyx eyebrow gel honestly i would not recommend this just because i feel like it's really hard to work with and it's very messy and i just think there's better things out there so i would say no for this one and moving on to the um eyes i have a love and hate relationship with this just because the colors are so pretty some of the some of the um, eyeshadows are very pigmented than others aren't and they're some of them are just very hard to work with so mm. 
I will let you guys know. I'm going to try and create more looks with this palette and I'll let you guys know on that. The NYX concealers, I would totally recommend this. I think I got mine a little too um, dark though. So this color right here was not really that good to like highlight under my eyes but i really liked it the highlight from the nyx palette i am so surprised because i have never used this highlight and now that i did i kind of regret not using it for all this time that i've been having that palette um i just been so stuck on the becca that i feel like i don't give any other highlights a chance <laughs> For the NYX product, the NYX um, Soft Matte Cream, I loved it. It feels like there is literally nothing on my lips. Pretty much it. Oh, the blush. I really love the blush. The ombre blush. Um, honestly, the only thing I didn't like from NYX was the brow thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what products you would like me to do a first impressions on. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.